Now, some people all over SoCal got a heads up to the quake. They had access to an early warning system that was recently rolled out. CBS 2's Randy Page is live in Santa Monica, where he spoke to the founder of the company that came up with that idea. Randy. Pat, we've been talking about this for a long time, this whole notion of early warning system for earthquakes. Now, this could be the very first big test involving a real earthquake, and it did work. It could be heard all the way from here in Santa Monica, the alerts going all the way as well to Caltech in Pasadena. Earthquake. Even before Caltech got the heads up on today's earthquake 12 seconds before it hit, Alyssa Walker was already preparing to drop, cover, and hold on. According to her tweet, Alyssa had a 38-second warning, and she captured it on her cell phone. As an early adopter of the cell phone early warning app, she also got this map, which shows her not only where the epicenter is, but also that it is 7,905 meters from her location, and it is a magnitude 5.4. A scary day for some, but you know, for us, I think it was a, it was a good day. Josh Basham is founder of Early Warning Labs, the company which developed the early warning software, which is now being rolled out all over Southern California, providing an alert precious seconds before the earthquake arrived. If we sat here and we counted 60 seconds, I think people watching would be pretty bored, right? It was, it's, it's a long time. And when you look at, at what we actually do here in L.A., you know, we, we notify the metro, and they'll actually slow and stop all their trains. And they can do that in about half, half a minute. And if we can do that, we can prevent derailment. Basham says today's earthquake is a perfect example of how the early warning system can work. It not only told people exactly how much time they had before it arrived, but it also let them know it was going to be a weak earthquake, so they knew not to panic when the ground began to shake. I mean, if we got an alert right now and it said extreme shaking, We'd, we'd move away from this old building, right, and maybe the, the, the truck here. Uh, but if it was light shaking, we'd probably kind of sit here and, and giggle and, and enjoy the shake. So it's really, really important uh, to know the level of shaking. Earthquake. Weak shaking expected in eight important to know for a lot of reasons in fact once this thing really gets rolled out for example fire stations will know to take the fire engines to pull them outside of the building we saw in the northridge earthquake you may remember some of those equipment was stuck inside the fire stations so a lot of this is being rolled out into the buildings now it's also extremely exciting that this app the app that they will be providing two cell phones will the beta version will first become available this summer and it can actually use your iPhone as a locator to tell you for wherever you are holding that iPhone how far away that earthquake is and whether it's going to be a strong one or a weak one that's coming soon